Falcon. He is. He's a Falcon main. So we've got Dakpo versus Jay Spear. And now shaved his head. But he looks good. He looks real good. He does. Looks very professional. We got a scarf battle. Yeah, dude. I like I'm liking Jay Spear's scarf though. I kinda like that a little more than Dakpo's right now. Although, congratulations to Dakpo. Finally congr uh he graduated. He did. I saw all the photos on Facebook. The Super music dope. major is yeah, now man. able to do things that aren't only school and smash. <laughs> so Must be nice. We're going to get some Zelda versus Game & Watch action. Um, I'm sure chat's going to complain <laughs> about their... Or no, they're going to they're gonna rave about their two favorite characters. You know, Game & Watch is uh, kind of interesting. Like, uh, the ability to act out of up is rather unique. Interesting uh, is one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's... Uh, who else has the ability to act out of up -E? Snake? Sonic. Sonic. That's it. Uh, yeah, those three characters, right? Okay. So, Game & Watch and Zelda. Oh, Mewtwo. But Mewtwo has to have his double jump. Hmm, you're right. Okay. So, multiple... So, Dak Pro out the gate, and, uh... He's gonna... <laughs> did, can you bucket that? It is pla It is not a physical object, so you could bucket that. Yeah. That's sick. I wonder if he actually gets a chance to do it. That'd be neat. I mean, you could bucket bacon as well. Or two. No, I'm sorry. Like, say say another game of watch is throwing bacon at Ooh. you. You could bucket that too, yeah? Yeah, you could. I'm pretty sure. No, I don't know. I don't I think thought you it's could. It's not an, yeah, it's a physical object. You shouldn't be able to. Fire the dense fire's energy. Nice back air. Oh, it does not get that second forward air. I was hoping he was going for the un up smash and get the under the sea combo. Off the top, boys. Excellent finish. And three stocks apiece. Uh, Dakpo nursing. Oh, uh, well, JC is nursing a bit of a lead here. Mm. Not so? No. You oh, know what's funny wait. is, I, I talked to Umbra out a little bit about this character. He feels like Zelda's actually not bad. He feels like Zelda's a decent character. I think Zelda's very bad um, because of how <laughs> slow she is. She just yeah. kind of has gimmicks right now. Her dash dance is rather lackluster, but her normals are all really good. Her normals are slow is the problem. But they all are really impactful. That yeah. back throw is no, also No, they really lead good. into something, but as the game progresses, neutral just becomes more important because more people realize how to play their character to the, like, the optimal way. Mm -hmm. um, and as that, as that happens, Zelda becomes worse and worse, I think, because her neutral is... She's like she's like Gandor from Melee. You can kind of beat her by not approaching her. Um, but when she hits, she hits hard. Oh, gosh. Parachute taking him off the side. I'm curious to see what Jay Spear is going to do here to, add, uh, to adapt. Because he's, he's had to... Oh. Uh, make it Dakpo SD, apparently. Smart option. Very smart option. This, Dakpo is one of the senseis that we have over here at UNT. Uh, and you've seen a lot of his... Uh, a lot of it... Oh, wow. Actually, the bucket coming into place here. Mm. Nice down tilt. Follows up with another down. Up B. Ooh, does not get that up air, though. Excellent up smash. Hmm, um, so it looks like we're getting... Okay, he's got him off stage. Oh. Oh. Wait, so what happened? I... I looked away for like one second, Cole. What's up? Uh, that was... He just kind of got thrown off stage and didn't make it back. It was... Dac no, Dakpo lost. Day Spear won. Interesting. Uh... Did he get back thrown off the stage? I think he got back thrown off the stage. And then he just... It just... Blur. Yeah, no, he didn't even, like, die. It was just, like, a bad recovery. Oh. I think he just, like, dipped too low at first. Odd. That was weird. Deck was looking at someone else's game and just taking it, taking it in. You know, uh, he's literally watching a Oh, no, a Birdman's CP. talking to him. Okay. Because uh, over there, Jeff is literally just playing Falcon in one-player mode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jeff is, uh... Jeff and uh, Jelly are both good friends of mine. I they try to here. hang out with them whenever I get a chance to. Uh, for, as far as those two go, I think those are two of my favorite guys to watch in Melee. Jeff is uh, the one between the two brothers that actually has an interest in this game, but we're going to get into this next match in a second. Boom. Let's go. All right, so we're going back to Battlefield. Huh? Good. Didn't work, but sometimes player preference is just a thing that you got to take into consideration. Oh, nice up tilt. No, I mean up air to get him popped up. Grabs him. Ooh, okay. I think he just tried to read the DI a little too hard. Mm. Wavelands onto the stage. 
Cannot get him with that down tilt, though. Okay. Excellent fair. Gets the sweet spot on it. Okay, so the dense fire there, it was excellent because while Dakpo did sweet spot, it popped him up. If J-Spear was a little bit closer, that could have been a combo opportunity. Back throw again is not going to be enough to seal the stock. Bucket breaking also coming into play here. Mm, that's going to be it. But Dakpo with a, a sick taunt cancel in the middle of his combo. <laughs> that's what matters. Uh, so we got the frying pan into four air combo. Mm. No. Interesting. Does an air dodge there. Yep. A little questionable. Down tilt. Oh, we got a down tilt battle. And then <laughs> Dakpo lost. And he tried to use the weakest meteor in the game because he didn't get the sweet spot. Mm. J-Spear is really having difficulty getting back onto the center stage here. Dakpo did such a great job of just continuing to box out and wall out J-Spear. It's really important to be able to use normals effectively in these instances. And sometimes the ability to not use normals and just threaten people. But the only way you get that is through conditioning. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of... What Dakpo is doing a lot of times is just, just kind of down tilting and then dashing back to get J-Spear to approach because he knows he can punish most of Zelda's very slow options that he has. Um, he's been doing a lot better about at this game about just not committing too hard. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, I like that bacon to pop him up just for that first up air. That was a pretty creative idea. Ooh. Other is so good with the game watch too, because short op out of it you can wave land, which in turn means you can auto cancel it. So you just keep getting those up air strings. We're messes up his recovery. Both these players have been having difficulties getting back onto stage. Dakpo's yeah. had SDs, Jaspers had SDs. Granted, Jaspers had more, but. Dakpo was telling me about how he kind of didn't feel super confident coming into this tournament mm -hmm. because he hadn't been playing PM in a while. Yeah, he's been busy with uh, school and whatnot, yeah? yeah? School and student teaching. He says he's gonna play, he's gonna be playing no Smash 4 until after Forte. <laughs> Good option. Well, it's a good choice considering I don't think there's much. I don't think there's Smash 4. There isn't there. Smash 4 at Forte. It's a melee-centric event. Are you going to be up there? Uh, probably not. Uh, we'll see. No Neptune. Oh! Down air. Oh, just go for the Nair. Huh. Oh, and Tot cancels. Mm. Got oh, it. Yeah. I knew it. That was excellent. That wave dash back down tilt was... He does that a fair amount. As a Dak post, but it's hard to punish. It is. Because it comes out, it comes out quick. It's nice and active. Um, the other things that Dakpo does really well is like he'll do wave dash back and then um, forward tilt or forward smash sometimes. Like particularly, you saw him do it against J Sphere. Whenever he had his back to the wall, he did a lot of normals and then pushed a lot of pressure really quickly and then wave dash back and did some sort of a, a, some sort of a forward hitbox to make to have some sort of a counter hit setup. Down tilt can be punished a lot by characters that have good hitboxes that come from. Um, that hit below them, like Falco Dare, Falcon Stomp, um, Fox Dare to a degree. But Zelda really didn't have anything below her except Down Air, but Down Air is slow and doesn't really give you anything. Mm. It doesn't give you a follow up. Well, where are we going here, man? Well, Dakpo's uh, kind of debating with Birdman. They're talking back and forth. And it really depends on the bands. Mm. See, as Game Watch, Game Watch and Zelda both kill really early, so they like similar stages. Yeah. So I would want a bigger stage of Zelda just to, like, kind of play the campier game. Um, but I don't know. We will find out. Oh, so, I'm curious. All right, we're going into this next one. Green, Green Hill, Hill Zone. Zone. Oh, okay. boy. This could go very badly for... Uh, for um, J-Spear. Because, see, Game Watch is very good on flat ground because it doesn't give you platforms to interrupt his broken combos. Um, yep. And it's small, so he can just cover so much space. However, Zelda kills really early. But um, he doesn't have room to play the, the kind of platform-based neutral game he was kind of going for before. So this this could be rough. But we'll see. Oh, oh it happened no. again. He side... He Whoa! The see? read on the teleport and the forward smash was already buttered up and ready to go. Great finish. Launches that guy out of the top. He up these. See, Dakpo's just reading that now every time. Because after, after every side, he just muppies. Oh, there it is. That straight yeah. hit from the sweet spot back here is going to take him. Now, yeah. Dakpo, you touched on it. Is He's someone who does a great job of uh, adaptation. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's one of the smarter guys that I think I've met uh, once I've come into the Smash community. Yeah, if you have a habit, he will catch on to it. Yeah. That's why he's just good at every Smash game now. He just learns fast and catches on. If you can catch on to a player's habits, it's just something that's there's there's no way to teach that, and there's no way that el that'll ever be a bad thing. That's why Mango is so good at melee. He doesn't do the optimal thing, but he reads everyone, and he's pretty much always right. That down tilt, those those pivot down tilts are so neat. Back throw, back throw, yeah, okay. He tried to use bucket. He tried to kill two birds once down there. He tried to bucket break as well as uh, get the projectile that was coming after him. I think his original intention was just a bucket break, but oh no, there it is again. Yeah. Mm, now he's now he has a shotgun. So if he puts him off to the side, oh, he's, he he might not even use it here. If he can get something else to combo, he'll save the save the bucket. Yeah. No. If he gets a grab, he's Jace uh, Bear will be dead. Unless Dako tries to go for some style. That should take him. And yeah. now he's fully loaded with the shotgun. He's got the bucket. You know. Oh my God. Yeah. Holding down with Game Watch, very good because at that point you just slide off the stage and then can momentum cancel. That's insanity, dude. He did so well, uh, but he's got this great lead. Oh gosh, he he put a little bit too much charge on that forward match. I got I don't scared for a second. Know what he's trying to do right now? I don't either. Because he he down tilt and, and then uh, dash attack in the wrong direction about I think two or three times. I think it might be the tech clubs with the, the a little bit of rust that's showing. Yeah, up. but I don't know what he was going for. Yeah. Or that's, that's it. it. No Game over. Contest. All right, good matches, though. Oh, great, yeah. Good showing from Jay Spear. Took a game off Dakpo. That's not easy to do. Okay. Woo!